so in our last sessions uh just we started um dsa data structures and algorithms with java the timings of this session is from 6 pm to 7 pm on weekdays sometimes we are going to take on weekends also so the duration of this course is two months approximately 60 sessions we are going to take and the fees is 2500 and the syllabus coverage everything i explained in the last session we started the first chapter in that which is nothing but recursion actually introduction we need to start but since it is a demo session i need to focus on the coding area uh, what is mean by recursive algorithms how we can able to implement the recursion how we can able to implement the recursion for that so what is method why we need to go for the concept or method once if the method is there how a method calls is going to be happen how if you are calling a method so if it is directing the control to some other method how the flow of execution will be okay next internally how these method calls are going to be stored in stack data structure so next and after that even we had a discussion about recursion what is the official definition of recursion when we can go for recursion so what is the main key important concept in the recursion next and after that are some basic examples then we discussed about infinite recursion as well as finite recursion next and after that we discussed about base condition what is mean by base condition when we can go for base condition next and after that we had a discussion about direct recursion as well as indirect recursion next why we need to go for recursion and the properties of the recursions and the steps to implement what are the various steps are there to implement recursion also we covered then tail recursion non-tail recursion very very important for interview point of view even when we are solving the real-time problems what kind of problems will comes under tail recursion what kind of problems will comes under non-tail recursion yeah must clarity must be required okay i explained by taking a small example program for both tail recursion means what non-tail recursion means what then sir normal versus reverse normal when we can go for normal uh, uh, traversing whenever you want reverse traversing it is highly recommended to go for this recursion sir for this batch actually for my previous batches around i have taken uh, some 14 to 15 examples like that but for this batch i want to cover all possible combinations around 20 applications i am going to cover applications on recursion applications on recursion what are the various applications are there sir application number one application number one what is the first application i want to take here is sir i want to implement so given a number okay given a number n given a number n given a number n so our task is our task is to find to find sum of n natural numbers sum of n natural numbers sir what is a theoretical formula 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus so 5 plus 6 plus and so on and so on plus n this is the formula right sir is it a recursion or not yes definitely why because sir first two numbers you have to add whatever result you are getting add that result to this is a common pattern is there or not yes so easily we can go for recursion sir we can solve this program even by using iteration also sir iteration recursion which is the best among these two sir as of now we should not tell that point but iteration is the best for this small small short applications never recommended to go for recursion but anyway as a part of our syllabus we need to cover that sir if the problem statement is clear for you then i will implement the program clear friends can i go for implementation yes sir everyone please confirm only one one or two members are responding i need response from everyone yes sir good now so for developing these applications i am going to use eclipse eclipse ide in this ide i am going to implement the programs
right sir in this ide already some test class is there just i am going to remove the content from this yeah sir i will i will implement a method what is that method is sir do you know public public static integer so sum of okay sum of natural sum of natural numbers so i will give a number what is your task sir you need to find out sum of those natural numbers your task is to find out sum of those natural numbers sir how to do that at the very beginning sir whatever number you are getting take that number and return n plus again you can call sum of natural numbers like this n minus 1 already we know this logic but we have to write base condition right what is that base condition if the value of n is less than or equal to 0 i will return 0 sir that's all this is nothing but the simplest code what we have but don't worry i will take diagrammatic representation for this then you can able to feel comfortable listen friends sir first time what is happening assume i am calling sum of natural numbers sum of natural numbers by passing some number called 4 what is my expected output sir 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 8 9 10 10 is the output this is my expected output is it going to come or not let us trace this algorithm at the very beginning what is the value of n sir it is 4 then it will check is that number 4 is it less than or equal to 0 no sir it is not less than or equal to 0 then what will happen sir i am going to return so n plus what is the n value 4 4 plus again it is going to call sir sum of n natural numbers 4 minus 1 which is nothing but 3 this is the first method call what is happening are you clear with this please confirm yes sir yes sir then what will happen again it is going to be called right sum of 3 sir how it is going to calculate 3 plus again it will calculate sum of 3 minus 1 which is nothing but 2 then again it will calculate so 2 plus sum of 2 minus 1 is nothing but 1 sir again 1 plus so sum of 1 minus 1 which is nothing but 0 sir now you know the point is it going to stop at this stage or not please confirm yes sir it will be yes. okay. if what we are returning only zero is there any recursive call continuation no no so whenever we are calling sum of zero which value it is returning can you please confirm zero zero that zero will be added to one one plus zero it will become one who called this particular flow sum of one right for that function it is going to return one everyone clear about this uh sir uh so basically uh the substitution of values will happen uh when the program will reach at the uh base condition and from yes. there it will be like starting the calculation yes yes i told already internally what will happen all the method calls will be stored inside stack that the stack will supply the values okay sachin ah uh, yes sir understood that's why yesterday i have given an example for tail and non tail recursion there we used the stack how values are supplied in that we have seen ah uh, now tell me so this 1 plus 2 is going to be added or not please confirm what is the result 3 that 3 is going to be written for this sir 3 plus 3 what will happen it is going to return 6 sir 6 plus 4 what is the return value 10 sir is the output what i got and is the expected output both are same or different please confirm yes sir, both are same yeah is the program is working properly yes sir yeah anyone feeling comfortable anyone feeling difficulty in this recursion code 
प्लीज कंफर्म इज दिस फ्यू लाइन्स ओनली फोर फोर लाइन्स आर देर नॉट फोर ओनली थ्री लाइन्स आर देर सर एनी डाउट इन दिस थ्री लाइन्स प्लीज कंफर्म Sir, one doubt I have. So here we are using uh, two return statement. One is a zero, and another is a return n plus. Hmm. Yes. Yes. So I uh, just wanted to know, like, so uh, like uh, when it will come for that return zero, and after that, that next return statement will be executed. No, But no, no. See, uh, actually, what will happen? This return zero will execute when this condition is satisfied. Okay. Okay. we have written this recursion code in such a way that it will meet this requirement at any point of time then it is a finite recursion okay understood definitely it will meet there is no doubt in that okay but in that case a second return statement so uh, our like return value at last it will be 10 so uh, like in that condition uh, like uh, Like that condition, who condition... called? Who called this particular sum of n? Yeah, sum of n natural numbers. For them, last return value is going to be submitted. Okay. Suppose if you have any statement here, what will happen? After returning the value, also this method job is there. Are you getting my point? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it, sir. Got it. Yeah. So luckily here we don't have any statement. So what will happen? After returning the result to the caller who called this sum of n natural numbers first time, the total task is going to be finished. It won't go further. Got it? Yes, sir. That that minute point is very very important, sir, because in the upcoming classes it will play an important role. Because when the return is going to be executed, that small concept you need to understand well. No problem. At very basic, if you are getting doubts, you can ask. Sir, clear up to this. Yes, sir. Any doubt? No, sir. Uh, sir, uh, if you are keeping uh, like any statement after the seventh line after return, so it will be executed only once, uh, right? No, no. It will be executed every time. Oh, um, yes, every time it will execute. How many times you you executed this statement? Those many times, next statement also will get a chance, right? See these two lines will get chance only one time. Are you getting? Yes. Other than these two, you can take any number of statements. If this one is there, how many mm -hmm. times method call is going to be happen? Those many times it will execute. Okay. So if um... you have a doubt, see, I am taking system dot out dot println of triple a. Just first let me execute this example, sir. Then I will add. Okay. right sir see guys so just i want to print system dot out dot println of i am calling so sum of sum of natural numbers by passing 5 uh, tell me sir uh, sorry if you pass 4 what is output sir just now we calculated what is output 10 right let me run this code and check is a 10 is coming or not yes perfectly coming sir is the code is working or not please confirm yes sir now sir i am printing system dot out dot print ln of i am printing triple a tell me how many times triple a will be printed how many times sir got the point yes, now sir i am taking system dot out dot print ln of triple b these three statements are there okay these three statements are there inside this are you getting my point yes sir so what will happen these three lines is going to be executed but here there is some compilation problem is there because actually we should not take sop there should be some proper logic we need to write so here it is keep on calling and whatever value it is returning that is captured here itself that's why this statement will become unreachable but we can take the statements i will explain soon such a type of examples got it how many times it triple b is going to execute five times sorry four times clear sir yes sir but unfortunately here which type of error we are getting if you see it is printing unreachable statement it is printing unreachable 
because at any point of time you can't reach okay so that's why it is not entertaining us because it is a sop if you take any formula definitely it will i will show you when such a type of situation will come sir clear up to this sir everyone please confirm yes. is this first application is it clear yes sir yes sir. no doubt right yes sir yeah because in these 20 examples if you understand very clearly so you can develop any type of recursion application such type of confident you people are going to get because those many examples we are going to focus right so can i go for next application yes sir application number 2 what is the second application sir given given a number n so find factorial of the given number factorial of the given number i think it is the same like previous sequence right tell me what modification we need to do in this sequence One plus two, then yes, one into two, then two into three, three into four, four into five, five into six, like that only, right? Because a factorial means what? So five factorial is equal to what? Five into four factorial is mathematical formula is clear. Again, four factorial can be written as four into three into two into like that. Is it a sequence or not? Which will start from 1 up to n it will take. If you are clear with the example, then I will write the program. Are you clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any doubt? Right. Sir, now listen carefully. I am going to implement this program. So, public, static, integer. Mm. Tell me what is a function name, suitable name. I will take fact, which is nothing but integer n. Sir, if the number is negative or 0, uh, what value we have to return? 0. Otherwise, what value we have to take? Sir, n into, can I take fact of n minus 1? Only that formula we have to change. Yes. Sir, there is one small bug is there in this program. What is that bug is? Sir, what is 4 factorial? 24 only, right? If you run, sir, what is the output we are getting? 0. Sir, why? Because, see the flow of control. Sir, factorial of 4 you have taken. It is internally calling, sir, 4 into factorial of 4 minus 1, 3. So, it is internally calling, so 3 into factorial of 3 minus 1, which is nothing but 2. Sir, it is internally calling 2 into factorial of 2 minus 1, 1. It is internally calling 1 into factorial of 1 minus 1, 0. But 0, it is returning which value, sir? 0. Only. In this example, 0. So, 0 multiplied with anything will become 0 only, right? Yes, yes, yes. That 0 only it is substituting. Again, multiplication. So, whenever you are getting 0 factorial, sir, take it as 1. So, 1 into 1, it will return 1. 1 into 2, it will return 2. Sir, 2 into 3, it will return 6. 6 into 4, it is going to return 24. Then our logic will work. Sir, tell me in the sixth line, instead of return 0, which statement we have to take? 1, sir. Good. We have to take return 1. So, if anyone is asking why you are returning 1, there are two reasons. One is... 0 multiplied with anything will become 0. First reason. Second reason. Sir, 0 factorial is also 1, sir. You have to tell these two reasons. Clear, friends? Yes, sir. Sir, everyone clear with this example? Yes, If sir. you want, run and you can check. We are getting 24. Clear? Yes, sir. Right. Sir, sometimes... They may ask, sir, print a factorial for 1 to 10 or 1 to 5. Sir, for i, in, I is equal to 0, i less than or equal to, i less than or equal to 5, i plus plus. Sir, just SOP off, just SOP off, 
I will print the number followed by some tab space fact. So what this program is going to do for every number it is going to file calculate factorial. Sir, what output we are getting? Sir, every time 24 because sir, you have to pass 1. I. If you pass I, what will happen? It will calculate factorial. Sir, 0 factorial is 1. 1 factorial is 1. 2 factorial is 2. 3 factorial is 6. 4 factorial is 24. 5 factorial is 120. Like that, internally, it is going to evaluate. Sir, everyone feeling comfortable up to this? Please confirm. Yes, sir. No doubt, right? Clear? Can I go for next application? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next. Sir, very, very important. Application number three. Sir, what is this third application is? Listen, friends. I want to calculate, sir. I want to calculate multiplication of two numbers. I want to calculate multiplication of two numbers. So, I will call a function like system dot out dot print ln of mm, maybe I am going to take a product or mul. Any name you can take. Sir, first time I am giving the value, okay, like, um, sir, 5 comma 3, sir, 5 comma 3, like this I am taking. Sir, what is the expected output? 5 into 3, 15 is the output, am I right? Sir, clear? How many inputs it is taking, this, this particular method, how many inputs it is taking? Two inputs. Two inputs. Can I say integer A comma integer B? Yes. So, what is the meaning here, sir? Whenever you are doing multiplication of 5 comma 3, internally, what is the meaning is 5 we have to add 3 times. Is there any common pattern is there or not? Yes, we can take that. I don't want to use a star. I want to use this approach. Can I take how many times we have to call, sir? How many times we have to call? How many times you have to add 5? 3 times. Three okay. times. Is there any value three in the parameters? Yes, second parameter. Second parameter. What is the name of this parameter? B. B. Sir, can I add a value? How many times, sir? How many times I can add like this? Can I say B times? Yes. Sir, everyone got the point? When we can go for recursion. Sir, clear? Please confirm, friends. Clear up to this. Yes, sir. Now, sir, I will write um, one if condition. I will write one if condition. If this condition is true, I want to take one statement. If the condition is not satisfied, I am going to take some statement. Uh, tell me, sir, uh, what is the condition? Or I will, I will take something like written, written A plus, okay, A plus, Sir, mul of, I am taking a value as it is, and then b minus 1 I am taking, b minus 1 I am taking. Otherwise, I am going to return 0. Uh, tell me, sir, what should be the condition here? That is very, very important. What will be the condition? Uh, it means uh, 0. Hmm? Please see, I have, I have written in a reverse style. Mm. When like, we have uh, to do this, B is not zero. Mm. B is not equal to zero. Yeah. Not equal to zero, right? Now see, I am going to call sir multiplication of five comma three. You know which is A, which is B. Sir, is B is not equal to zero? Yes. Then what will happen? A plus A value is five. 5 plus again multiplication of 5 will be there as it is 3 minus 1, 2. Then what will happen, sir? 5 plus again em of sir 5 minus, uh, sorry, 5 will be there 2 minus 1, which is nothing but 1. Sir, again 5 plus it is going to call em of 5 comma 0. Sir, whenever b value is not equal to 0, this expansion will come. 
So when B is equal to zero, which value it will return, sir? Five. Sir, please see. Zero. Zero. So zero plus five will become five. So five plus five will become ten. So ten plus five will become fifteen. Is our output is correct? Please yes, confirm. Yes, sir. Oh, now, sir, I have one small query is there. Sir, suppose if I am calling m of 3, comma 5, what will happen, sir? First, it is going to call 3 plus m of 3, comma 4, right? Again, so 3 plus m of, so 3, comma 3. Again, so 3 plus m of, 3 comma 2 sir again 3 plus m of 2 minus 1 1 again 3 plus m of 1 minus 1 0 sir 1 2 3 4 5 5 times we have to call am i right friends please confirm yes, yes. but we have one math rule sir a into b is equal to b into a am i right Yes. Sir, here, whether you are multiplying 3 into 5 or 5 into 3, both are same. So, but here, 1, 2, 3 calculations, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 calculations. So, 5 calculations, 3, which is best, first one or second one? First one. First one. That's why what I am doing is, here I will put one more condition. If, to improve the efficiency, if the value of A is less, when compared with b then better to redirect the call by passing b comma a can i do like this yes this will happen only one time when sir when a value is very less when compared with b in the remaining cases as usual will continue am i right yes sir then you can put it else if here that's all sir here how many base conditions are there only one base condition but why two if conditions are coming? One is to improve the efficiency. Another one is normal flow. Now, sir, I will I will run this code by taking 5 comma 3. So 3 comma 5. 3 comma 5. 3 comma 5. Sir, what will happen? Sir, in both the cases, what is the output that we are going to get? 15. Am I right? Yes. Sir, 15 and then 15. Clear any doubts? So if you want, you can put how many calls it has happened. If you want, you can print. Uh, like maybe assume I'm going to take one counter variable. I want to print that counter variable, which will print, sir, how many iterations has happened. I will declare one static integer counter value. Counter value. Whenever you are calling the method, immediately counter plus plus I will take. So assume this this bloody condition is not there then what will happen let us cross check now i am running the code hmm. check it once sir for first time how many method calls sir how many times it is executed for first one four times for second one ten times ten, ten, times. Time. ten times suppose if it is there then what will happen is the number of conditions is going to be Reduced or not? Yes. Sir, I think maybe there is one fault. Maybe one fault is there. Okay, no problem. But you are seeing, right, how the control flow is happening. Clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Anywhere we did a mistake? No. Correct only, right? Instead of there, sir, I will put this counter here. Then we will get clarity how many times the recursion call is happening. Three times and here it is six times. 
sir what is the mistake that we did sir uh, counter is static variable, variable, right? class level no no static class level ah yeah yeah so it is a counter right so what will happen it is taking the previous value getting yes that is a problem so previous call how many times happened sir three times six minus three second call is also how many times it is happened three times suppose if this condition is not there then what will happen sir three times 8 minus 3 five times sir are you getting my point why this is showing 8 first method call 3 from 3 it is incrementing 4 5 6 like that that's why if you want to get how many times second method is called 8 minus 3 five times are you understanding the point because mm -hmm. it is a static variable we are in the same class so it will retain the value for the next method call also clear friends getting bored any queries up to this sir clear everyone please confirm so that we can go for next application now yes sir yes, sir. right application number three is nothing but what multiplication multiplication of two integer values two integer two integer values next sir application number four application number four so what is the fourth application is i want to find out i want to find out fibonacci Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence. Uh, tell me what is Fibonacci sequence? Hmm, what is the first number in the Fibonacci sequence? The one, sir. Hmm. First number in the Fibonacci sequence. The zero, one, two, three, five, like that. Yes, first number is always zero. First number is always zero. Second number is one. 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 These two are fixed. Next number is added by adding. Next number we are going to get by adding previous two numbers, right? Yes, if you yes. add previous two numbers, what will be the result? One. One. So, one. Next number? Two. Two. Next number? Three. Three. Next number? Five. Five. Next number? Eight. Eight. Next? Thirteen. Sir, it will repeat. Am I right? Can I say this is zero at Fibonacci number? First Fibonacci, second Fibonacci, third Fibonacci, fourth Fibonacci, fifth Fibonacci, sixth Fibonacci, seventh Fibonacci, and so on. Are you clear with this terminology? Yes, sir. Sir. Anyway, we can't generate this sequence. We can't generate this sequence. But we can write an algorithm to get this particular number. We can write algorithm to get this particular number. Sir, how to write? I will demonstrate code for that. Listen carefully. So, here, just I, I want to take that demo.java program yesterday we have taken, right? Sir, now listen carefully. I'm calling system dot out dot print ln of sir fib of zero. Uh, what is the expected output, sir? We know the Fibonacci sequence. Let me copy paste both the lines here. I want to copy paste both the lines here. Uh, have a look once. Tell me what is the zero at the Fibonacci number, sir? Zero, right? Zero. Am I right? So I'm going to call a function like uh, it will return integer fib can i say if n is equal to zero can i return zero am i right friends yes sir. yes sir suppose if n value is one what is the output you are expecting one one 
sir can i take if n is equal to 1 return 1 yes sir if n is 0 return 0 that means n must be 0 n is 1 then it should return 1 instead of 1 can i take n can i take n here right yes, so sir. these two are same statements only right so i will cut this and i will attach here if n is 0 or n is 1 i will return n if n is 0 it will return 0 if n is 1 it will return 1 sir is the concept is clear up to this yes yes sir now, now sir i am passing to what will happen if i am passing to what will happen sir is n is equal to 0? No. Is n is equal to 1? No. Then what we have to do? Return fib of, can I take n minus 1? Where you will get previous number. Again, we have to take one more call, n minus 2. Sir, fib of 2 you are calling, where it is calculated by adding fib of 1. So, plus fib of 0. When FIB of 0 came, it will return 0. When FIB of 1 came, it is returning 1. 1 plus 0, the result is nothing but 1. That's why the output is 1. Are you clear with this terminology? Please confirm. Yes, sir. Any doubt? Clear, friends? Yes, sir. Now, very, very important. I am giving some input to the next uh, concept, sir. Please listen. Very, very important. Maybe next program I may not explain in detail. So, please listen this program very carefully. Right. Sir, assume I want to calculate FIB of 6, sir. You know how it will be calculated. Can I say it is calculated by using two terminologies? What is the first one, sir? Tell me. Hmm. First one, FIB of 5, uh, then FIB of 4. Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. F of 5 is again calculated by taking F of 4 and F of 3. Am I right? Yes, sir. And this F of 4 is again calculated by taking F of 3 and F of 2. Am I right? Yes, sir. So this f of 4, again it is calculated by taking f of 3 and f of 2. And this f of 3 is calculated by taking f of 2 and f of 1. And this f of 3 is calculated by taking f of 2 and f of 1. This f of 2 is calculated by taking f of 1 and f of 0. And this f of 3 is again calculated f of 2 and then f of 1. This f of 2 is calculated by taking f of 1 and f of 0 and f of 2, f of 1 and then f of 0. So since f of 1 is there, it, it won't expand. Again, it will become f of 1 and f of 0. So till you are getting 0 and 1, we have to expand. Sir, is it the tree diagram for this Fibonacci? Please confirm. Yes, sir. Now you know the return values. 1 means it will return 1, it will return 0, 0 plus 1, it will return 1, 1 means 1, 1 plus 1 means 2, then here 1, here 0, 1 plus 0, 1, sir, 2 plus 1, it will return 3, so 1 and here it is 0, 0 plus 1, 1, sir, here it is 1 means it will return 1, 1 plus 1, it is going to return 2, sir, 3 plus 2 means it will return 5, uh, next here, 1, 0, it will return 1, sir, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, so 1 and then 0, 1 plus 1, 1 plus 0, sir, 1, 2 plus 1, 3, 5 plus 3 will become what? 8. Sir, is the sixth Fibonacci number is 8. Am I right, friends? Everyone got clarity? Yes, sir. This is the internal thing which is happening. This is the internal thing which is happening. But there is one bigger problem is there. What is that problem is? Are you seeing? I am highlighting something, sir. Sir, f of 2 value how many times you calculated can you please cross check f of 2 value how many times you calculated this is one time this is second time third time fourth time 
fifth time. Five times you calculated. Am I right? Yes, sir. F of three value. How many times you calculated? Sir, one, two, three times you calculated. Am I right? Yes, sir. What is my requirement is? Are already you calculated F of three value. If anyone is asking F of three, why you are going to calculate again? This value is there, right? Can you please return directly? And this value again, why you are taking risk? Can you please return? So we can avoid this, sir. Do you know this concept is called as dynamic programming? Dynamic programming. What is mean by dynamic programming? DP. So if any overlapping calls are there, overlapping calls are there. In such cases, we can solve by using dynamic programming. There are two different techniques are there. Like memoization and then tabulation, we will see about that. Sir, clear up to this? Any doubt? Okay, it's fine. Clear, everyone? Yes, sir. That's all. Now, if you want, you can run. Sir, if you want sequence really, we can take i is equal to zero, i less than or equal to ten. I plus plus, uh, you can print a SOP system dot out dot print enough of FIB of I. So followed by some space you can give. So what will happen, sir? Uh, let me run this code Java C demo dot Java, Java space demo. You can see 0 to up to 55. We got 10 numbers. Are you clear with this Fibonacci sequence? Yes, sir. How internally Fibonacci is calculated? Clear? Yes, sir. Like this, there is one more application is there, sir. Fifth one. Tribonacci sequence is there. What is Tribonacci sequence? First number is 0. Second number is 1. Third number is 2. Sir, next number. Previous three numbers are some. Tell me, sir, what will be the next number? 3. 3. three. Next number? 6. Sir. Next number? 11. 11. Next number? 20. 20, yeah? Yeah. Next number? 37, 37. Huh? Correct only, right? Yes. 68. Hmm. Like that, we can calculate. Sir, same logic. Is there any change? In the place of FIB, I am taking TRIB, Tribonacci sequence. Where we need to do the modifications, sir, whenever n is equal to 0 or n is equal to 1 or n is equal to 2, you have to return. Otherwise, n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus can I take um, trib of n minus 3? Can I take like this? Yes, sir. That's all. Same, same Jonar program, sir. You can see. 0, 1, 2, 3, 6, 11. Have you observed here? 3, 6, 11, 20, 37, 20, 37. Perfectly coming. This is the way how we can able to generate Tribonacci sequence. So these are nothing but first five applications on the recursion. Everyone clear up to this? Yes, sir. Any doubt, friends? Right. And one assignment I am giving for you. What is that assignment is? What is that assignment is? Sir, two programs I am giving. Two programs I am giving. Sir, try to draw tree diagram. Tree diagram for FIB of uh, uh, maybe 7 or 6 like that. And uh, tree diagram for trib. So trib of 5. Try to write down. Try to write down this tree diagram and keep it with you. Just take a A4 paper, either in landscape or portrait mode. Just try to draw this. You have already code. And that's all about today's session. Some other applications I will explain in the tomorrow's class. The people who yet not registered, you can start registering. Maybe tomorrow they are going to change the link. And the people who already made the payment, for them we are going to give running notes access and videos accessing from today itself. Today night, you are going to receive a Google Drive. Okay. Any other questions? 
sir when is this batch will be starting sir already started this recursion topic again i won't repeat okay it is already started it is already started so i won't repeat this chapter again maybe if they are planning any add on batch there i may but i will continue so once if the registrations got completed so one hour introduction to algorithms and some two hours time complexity will be there then this topic is already covered and i will continue from that okay sir one any other questions this. yeah please i already registered for this program like uh, i can't attend the classes for this week so uh, uh, videos will be shared with me right yeah videos will be shared okay thank you right and my sincere suggestion is maximum try to attend live classes so if there is no possibility then spend some time and immediately watch the video on the next day itself okay sure sure sir thank you if any difficult topic is there minimum one or two times i am going to stress even i will put the message in whatsapp group also so i am going to discuss so on so topic this is very emergency topic compulsory you need to attend live classes like that prior intimation will be given for some topics right sir thank you see you in the tomorrow's session bye bye thank you sir